Hello, my name is Moin, PhD researcher from Turku Data Science Group, University of Turku. I want to introduce FD Solver Julia package for solving a fractional differential equations. Fractional calculus came up 300 years ago with the question what if we use a half order of the derivative, so called the fractional derivative. Traditionally, the study of integral and derivatives is limited to integer number of multiplying of integral differential operators. But as we can study the numbers between the integer numbers, we can broaden our insight and study fractional calculus. So based on the notation, in fractional calculus, the order of derivative of a function could be a non-integer, real, or even complex number, as we have mu here. Many mathematical concepts and definition of fractional derivatives and integrals have been developed and proposed and developed uh, to have several solutions for such a new problems. Considering the identity function, the green line is dancing between the first integral and the first derivative of the, uh, of the function. When the order of derivative is changing between minus 1 and 1, and when it's half, um, so we have a half derivative of simple uh, this simple function, uh, which is in purple curve shown in figure. So fractional calculus performs like a flexible tool in comparing to the classical one. But for applying this mathematical tool in real world, in real world problems, we need uh, good interpretations, which are uh, not easy to find as much as the counterpart. For example, first order time derivative is the slope of a function or a speed of a dynamics. But fractional derivatives are global across the time. So fractional calculus supports non-local properties while classical one only includes operators with non-local with local properties. Meanwhile, there are many applications of fractional calculus in science and engineering in real life real um, world in different contexts physics, control, mechanics, biology, econo economics, finance, and so on. Our motivation for using fractional calculus is the ability of fractional derivative in modeling memory effects in dynamical systems. Memory effects are common in nature and have been recognized in different contexts. Actually, memory is present in a system when the influence of past events remained and affect the current state of the system. So if we consider population dynamic models for, incorporate, um, for incorporating memory effects to the model, we can add a time integral on the right side of the equation. Or alternatively or equally, we can use fractional derivatives to add memory. In this case, that kernel is in type of power law which means effects of the old events fade out and the impact of the recent events are high, like a power law curve. To see the impact of memory as an example, suppose the standard geologic function, the original gross curve without memory effects is the blue line, um, but other colors show the logistic gross uh, dynamics with uh, different level of memories. But we would like to study the impact of memory effects in community model, including components that interact with each other. Uh, with each other. And uh, this idea has been used in many many articles in the context of biology, ecology, epidemiology, social science, and so on. And of course, the concept of memory in each case is different uh, with different meanings. But the challenge is that solving models with fractional derivatives are not straightforward, and there was not uh, there was a demand to to have some solvers for fractional models in open so open sources like Julia. Meanwhile, there are many high quality MATLAB toolbox and codes in uh, in these regards. Uh, FTO. FOTF toolbox, uh, FOMCON toolbox, and others, but the most popular codes in direction of my interests are those from Garapa, uh, Roberto Garapaz. 
He used a fast Fourier transform inside the algorithms for the sake of efficiency and we deliver his contributions to our Julia FD solver package. FD solver package was the first package for solving fractional order models thanks to the help of Giulio Benedetti and Leo Latti. And fortunately, there is now another uh, developer in Julia, Cy Frax, who is trying to cover various aspects of uh, uh, fractional calculus. But let's see what type of problems does if they solve a solve. With this package, you can solve fractional all these uh, ordinary fraction equations or systems based on the predictor character algorithms. And it's suitable for solving high dimensional systems. And since the fractional derivatives are in the sense of capital, it is good for simulation of line term memory effects. And the necessary inputs are function. Uh, our uh, function, time span, uh, initial condition, order of derivatives, and any type of parameters uh, if there are any uh, parameters in the functions. So as an example here we solve to any species microbial uh, community model with random parameters uh, with integer orders and the user um, can add can uh, change the order of derivative to add uh, memory to the system regarding any species. That means that the memory, the memory of each equation of a system could be different. In compare, uh, um, I compare the efficiency of uh, our Julia package with the base MATLAB codes for several models. And we use two methods, and our uh, package performs similar to MATLAB. Unfortunately, alternative related Julia package is not mature enough to compare with our package, and except uh, one method, other methods failed or behave inefficient. And at the end, uh, one application of FD Solver package together with microbial analysis uh, package is uh, providing new methods to support uh, summarized experiment package Julia package the summarized experiment package makes a container uh, for data sets based on bioconductor uh, workflow and bioconductor um, objects mean data structures containing many attributes uh, so more complex than a vector or matrix and a reason for using this is uh, uh, use, using this uh, is that there is a shared infrastructure for common data types and the simulated data from f 2 solver could be one of those. Thank you for listening and contact us for any contributions.